What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply a little charming film grain onto your videos and projects. So I've got two things in my project media bin. I've got this stock footage of just people walking, or imagine that this is whatever clip that you want to use, and I've also got this film stock. So this is just kind of some old projector style footage that has been captured. Now there's many different types of these and you kind of have to dig to find the perfect kind. So I'm going to link you to this one that I have. But if you just search things like free film stock footage or film grain footage or film leaders, you can dig through different stock footage websites and maybe find some different ones. But to get a result, just like you saw in the beginning, I'll link you to this one, which will work fine for your project. So I'm going to click and drag this onto the timeline. And you see it doesn't fit quite right. And we actually don't want all this extra stuff, at least I don't. So I'm going to click on that layer, go to the effects control panel and increase the scale until it fits perfectly. So once we've got it filled in, I'm going to trim this clip into the point where I want it, which is this little segment right at the end where it's kind of a lighter gray with these flecks and specks of dirt. So I'm going to use my arrow keys to get right to that point, press C to grab my cut tool and create a chop right there. And then it looks like the rest of the clip is solid exactly how I want it. So I don't have to trim anything off at the end. If you're using a different type of clip that you found, you may have to trim off other parts. So I'm going to delete that beginning part. And there's also one part of this that I want to trim because it's a little too noticeable to me is this part where there's two white lines. So I'm going to also press C, create a chop there, move over until that little segment is gone. And I'll press C and delete that area. And you can click and delete to ripple delete that middle. So now I have about one second of film grain, but I want that to last over and over throughout the whole thing. I kind of want it to loop. So what I'm going to do is just do it the old fashioned way. I'll highlight both of these clips. I can hold Alt or Option and just drag out duplications. So I can do this a couple times, just drag these out and make them snap onto the ends of each other. And then I can grab the whole thing. And thankfully to exponential growth, we can make a however long segment of film grain that we want. So let's say we just want to make like a 30 second long film grain. So we can apply it to any segments of our projects. I'm going to highlight all those little cuts, right click, and nest it into its own sequence. I'll just call that film grain to be organized. But now we have one long nested sequence with a constant switching film grain. And you can't really tell that it's the same second over and over just because things are moving so fast your eye doesn't really catch it. So now to blend it with whatever's underneath, let's go to the effects control panel, set the blending mode to something like screen or lighten, and that'll take only the light parts of this image. And since the original clip that I'm using has a lot of that gray fade to it, it also gives a bit of fade to the clip underneath. And one final touch that I like to do to adjust the strength of this is go to the original clips that I'm working with and adjust the opacity. So I'm going to turn that stopwatch off so we don't get any animated keyframes going back and forth. And you can just lower it from 100 to something like 70, 60, whatever you want. And it gives it a bit of a more dim look which feels more charming and old timey to me, especially if you want to place text or title graphic overlays on top of this. So that's a simple way that you can take some film grain stock footage, cut it up and blend it into your original clip just right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're not yet so you don't miss any of my new videos and go follow me on social media at Justin Show if you want to reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.